we're at a very sort of strange point in time where people are able to start financing privately nuclear reactors. That fusion is, it's not just a technology, a, a sort of innovation that we all must sort of get our heads around. It is the technology. It is almost a new age. It's like coming out of coal. It's, it's almost like humanity gets to a whole new level of science once we achieve this tech. But something is stopping us. And you know, the, the public, no matter what perception they have of fusion, think, well, it's the fusion energy of it is the energy source of tomorrow and always will be. It's always going to be 30 years away. You know, billions and billions of pounds, lots of false starts. In fact, if you if the media hear about nuclear fusion, they automatically put the skeptical face on. If we are ever going to contemplate interstellar space travel, we need to get exhaust speeds a lot quicker than what we're doing with combustion engines and iron thrusters and Hall effect thrusters are just not going to cut it. So is there going to be a place for fusion reactors in space? Well, if we're ever going to leave our solar system, there has got to be. The biggest challenge here was to be able to design, build uh, and test something in a really short space of time. We were designing the engine, procuring parts, building the feed system and the thruster, as well as doing logistics, all in parallel with a very small team of people. I think the one that we found the hardest has been the time scale for this project because the rocket engine requires quite a number of specialist engineering parts, some of which have to be actually manufactured to order, and getting those brought in within a period of a few weeks and assembled and make sure they fit and all work together as they should do is, is, is the most difficult challenge. Pulsar's mission is to use nuclear fusion technology as a means for deep space propulsion. A fusion reactor can be used to generate exhaust speeds 1,000 times faster than existing chemical or plasma thrusters. Pulsar is developing hybrid, liquid and electric propulsion technologies to support launching and assembling a nuclear fusion reactor in orbit. The technologies will be used in synergy as we will now demonstrate. <laughs> 